technology to make renewable energy dispatchable 24 7 is the long duration energy Although CO2 is notorious for being the main cause of climate change, what if this villain of global warming could become instead the champion of green energy? Energy Dome, an Italian startup, has launched the world's first CO2-based battery, which can dispatch it over up to 24 hours anywhere in the world. So how can giant bladders of CO2 solve our energy storage problem? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla car world. While there's a growing demand for renewable energy, there's also the problem of intermittent production. Energy generated using wind power varies throughout the day, while solar power production halts at night. The Italy-based Energy Dome offers a simple solution to this challenge by using carbon dioxide as a means to store the energy generated by renewable sources. CO2 plays a useful role in the process as it has properties that can help store electricity from renewable energy sources sources when it is converted from gas to liquid. So what is the price of this system compared to the lithium-ion storage system? The advantage of this technology is that it does not rely on lithium-ion batteries which are often used for energy storage. The process also does not use any rare earth minerals, such as cobalt. It only requires steel, CO2, and water. Also, the closed loop system generates no emissions. The founders said Energy Dome's first full Full-scale storage plants should cost just under $200 per kilowatt hour, which is also about half the price of a lithium-ion energy storage system. To be independent of minerals and rare materials is a big advantage not only from the point of view of energy security, but also in terms of geopolitical stability, said Spadaccini, Energy Dome's founder and CEO. But how long can a CO2 battery store energy? From a storage viewpoint, most installations max out at around 6 hours for the best cost advantage. Obviously, that's not enough to back up the grid during extended periods of low renewable energy generation or overnight. That's where Energy Dome would come in handy as their CO2 battery could churn out energy for up to 24 hours. If need be, the CO2 battery can stretch that duration out to even a week or longer. That broad range means that the CO2 battery can go head-to-head -head against lithium-ion for solar energy storage, but it can potentially outcompete its rival for for the longer term needs of wind energy. So how does the battery work to achieve this? Our system is fully closed. We have no emission in the atmosphere. The carbon dioxide based battery works by compressing the gas at normal temperature and pressure to convert it into its liquid form. The heat generated during this process is then stored and is used during the charging phase of the battery. When power needs to be supplied, the battery is discharged by using the stored heat to turn the liquefied carbon dioxide into a gas, which is then sent through a turbine that generates electricity. The entire process is a closed loop system where the carbon dioxide is not released into the atmosphere. Atmosphere. So, if you're worried about CO2 leaking out or needing to top up the system with lots of CO2 over time, then you shouldn't, because Energy Dome said there are no leaks of CO2. We charge the system with CO2 at the beginning of its life, just once over 30 years, so we don't use CO2 continuously. It's like the refrigerator or the air conditioner in your car, which you just charge at the beginning. And the CO2 we use is just the working fluid in our battery, the CEO. Said. Now, will its lifespan surpass that of a lithium battery? Lithium ion batteries have a lifespan of 15 years at best, as their performance degrades with charging cycles. In contrast, it's only needed to kickstart the system. The Energy Dome system is meant to last for up to 30 years. Flexibility is another plus of the Energy Dome solution. They're using a modular approach to customize their battery size and match different storage requirements. Recycling is a topic that gets a lot of attention, so can this battery be recycled? Our CH battery is fully sustainable, fully recyclable. We just use steel to produce the CO2 battery, and we use water only once to fill our water tank. We do not use water during the operation of the CO2 battery, and we just use a small amount of CO2 to charge the battery at the beginning without any consumption of CO2 during the operation, Spadaccini said. There are some challenges with the CO2 battery, but what are they exactly? 
Unlike some systems which store pressurized air underground, the Energy Dome keeps CO2 at atmospheric pressure in an above-ground inflatable gas holder, aka the Dome. Just like a CO2-filled tennis court bubble, as their CEO Claudio Spadaccini describes it, the potential issue is space. He did confirm that space is one of Energy Dome's limitations compared to lithium-ion batteries. But in the end, space is only a minor concern. When it comes to Energy Dome, we're not going to have to wait too long to see how it performs. They're not only spun up their pilot test quickly, but they're also being very aggressive with their upcoming projects. What are these projects, specifically? Energy Dome began its operations in February of 2020 and has progressed from a concept to full testing at multi-megawatt scale in just over two years. It cited its first CO2 battery in an industrial area with an existing electrical connection in Sardinia. At the end of June, Energy Dome announced that it had secured $11 million in bridge funding that it used to buy equipment for a 20-megawatt, 200-megawatt-hour, 10-hour duration facility for Italian utilities. Utility A2A, with which it has a memorandum of understanding. Other Energy Dome investors include 360 Capital, Barclays, Novum Capital Partners, and Third Derivative. Since Energy Dome uses off the shelf components to build its large carbon dioxide battery, the deployment of the technology is relatively easy and fast, with the company expecting its first commercial facility to begin operations as early as 2024. As promising as it sounds, CO2 based storage systems won't entirely replace lithium-ion batteries, which are still the most cost-efficient option for lower-scale, short-run applications. So an integration of the two technologies may be the best green deal for the years ahead. How do you feel about CO2 batteries? Could it replace Tesla's lithium-ion energy storage system? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave us a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs and green technology. Once again, we thank you so much and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.